Hello snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host TC and this is Top Fives. The only top five snowboarding show that you come to to see which boards we're gonna put your nips to the ground. In this week's top five, we're gonna be talking about the top five best carving boards for the 23-24 season. Number five, the Nidecker Blade. This board is gonna be very aggressive, not for everyone for sure. That being said, it's gonna be nice and damp, great edge hold on it. We're getting it on edge is gonna be a little bit more tricky. Releasing the edge is gonna be a little bit easier for you. Number four is the Ampler Pentacork. This board is super aggressive. You can rip it back foot dominant if you want or use both feet. But the main thing on this thing is it is crazy smooth. You can run over a skier's skis and you have no idea. Number three is gonna be the Ride Peace Seeker. One of my favorite boards, but this board is definitely more approachable than the previous two that we have on this list. This thing is gonna be like your everyday man's hard carver where you can really drive that back foot. You have nice snap on it to spring you in and out of turns but then that nose is gonna be a little bit more softer, allowing it to kind of porpoise over all that chunder and stuff so you don't really have to deal with it. Number two is the Karua Cafe Racer Plus. This board is definitely gonna be stiff. That being said, it's more approachable than you think, where it does have a layer of titanium in it, causing you to feel a little bit more micro vibrations. But that being said, you could still plow through any of the chunder or any mogul fields without even noticing. Honorable mentions, these boards all rip. They just weren't able to crack our top five this year. It would be the LibTech Steely D, the Karua Pencil Plus, and the Arbor Annex. Remember, these boards all rip. They just weren't able to crack it this year. And the number one top five carving board of 23-24 is the Jones Free Carver 9000. I absolutely love this board. You've heard me talk about it before. This thing holds an edge like no other. It is still nice and easy to turn, but that edge hold is unmatched. You could still pop on it, but this thing carves hard and is extremely fast. Definitely more for that aggressive rider, but that being said, you could still kind of take a run off on it and just enjoy yourself. This has been Top Fives. I'm your host, TC. Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree with the list? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Did I leave anything off the list? If you're new here, make sure you click that bell subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you want to support us further, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could explain it here, but we have a great video over there getting really in depth with it. And as always guys, I'm your host TC, and I'll see you carving out there on those boards.